Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I like to get straight to the point, so let's get to it. Here are the items that you will be needing. One, a handheld piece of original artwork. Two, a scanner. Me, I got this used scanner off of Amazon. I will link the info in the description. Or you can buy a new one, but I prefer to save some coins, you feel me? And three, either a tablet, I'm sorry, a tablet or a computer. I got a tablet, so let's get to it. So here I am just zooming in on you know on the setup the piece of artwork and the scanner it was like damn she's on her bed i am i gotta do what i gotta do y'all as long as you get the info that that's all that matters so here i am about to scan the piece of artwork when i do scan my pictures that are kind of larger than the scanner itself i like to do it within um, sections and you will see that further on within the video you know, I gotta apply pressure, apply pressure to it so that the color can come out looking nice and very well detailed. So here I am just switching up the angles and doing what I'm doing best. Now moving on to step two, the cleanup where any smudges or any mistakes were on the original piece of artwork. And with the program that I'm using, it's the Autodesk Sketchbook. For anybody who's trying to save some coins, it is free. I've been using it now for the past four or five years. So when I do clean up, I like to get a brush that is closer to the texture of the paper on the original piece of artwork. And I do, I'm basically, I'm just cleaning up anything where I don't like because I like for everything to look all nice, clean, and crisp when I do print out um, the imprint, okay? I also took into consideration to use a off-white compared to a bright white because when you do um, print it out you would notice it and it would not make a very good it won't look good point blank period and now I'm just uh, changing the dimension of the picture to 13 by 19 because that's the size of the paper that I will be printing it on so to enhance or to, to color select your artwork I use two programs I use Adobe Lightroom and Polar Honestly, Polar, it really is my favorite program and it's free, save some coins, but I don't like when you print out on this program, the colors aren't as exact compared to Adobe. So I just stick with Adobe. So I'm just basically just showing you how you can color select and to enhance or to brighten up your, your prints. And it's easy as shit, like you cannot go wrong. Like it's honestly my favorite program of, of all time, but I just don't, don't like the colors when it print out. So here you are back on Adobe. Follow me on Instagram, K Green Art. And also hit that like button if you're enjoying yourself and also to subscribe to my channel. Okay, cool. Now moving on to a different textures of papers I've used over the years. The first one is like the least favorite side dude. I wouldn't suggest it. Like the ink gets everywhere. It's, it's just not good. The second one is like the runner up. I use this one to embellish any um, art prints. The third one is the main dude, my favorite one best quality paper i've used since honestly now when you do load your paper into the printer make sure you turn it upside down so that when you do print it out the words won't be backwards and there go my little printer my baby okay and boom so now we're just preparing for printing okay and give me a moment i'm gonna take y'all straight to the printing scene anytime now okay cool so with this part you want to, you want to pay very very close attention okay so poster mode all that good stuff would do so if you can see a little bit over there a little bit of her elbow is cut off i'm about to switch that to shrink to fit that's all up to you but i always press shrink to fit okay and I'm about to go to advanced settings to make sure everything is the way how it's supposed to be so with the paper size i always use a3 plus it's like almost 13 by 19 but not really like what 12 by 19 I believe and the texture paper I got this in a gloss okay this really does make a very very big difference honestly it does and then the last option like with the borderless printing I'm gonna press that on so you can see how it looks and a little okay and a little bit right there you see how on the sides there's no border or or anything it's just at the top and bottom I'm gonna go back and to advanced settings and press off okay okay cool okay and we're here if you can notice a little bit it's like like a little small little, little a, a little small little bit bolder right there you'll notice it when i print it out okay 
and about to press print okay and with this i didn't enhance any colors or anything yet this was just like a test run and there she go after print out now i'm just comparing the original to the um, print copy so here's the original and here's the print honestly it came out pretty pretty good but i noticed some um errors i did on the print copy so the color really isn't to my liking and you see that the little mark right there i did on the adobe sketchbook i gotta fix that you know the, the color this really isn't speak, speaking to me her skin tone is kind of off like you probably can't notice but i've been doing this for so long i can peep everything but it's still came out good but i'm just going to go ahead and edit it now in adobe and here's the last step where I'm just enhancing the colors. Sometimes I select a certain region of the um, picture where I just want to brighten and enhance the colors just on that particular area. So as you can see right here, I'm just, you know, just playing with it, seeing what works for what, what works for me and what doesn't. And I really would love to give you a thorough tutorial on how I do um, do enhance my stuff. But honestly, I've just been winging it for the past four or five years. You would have to watch a different video on how to do it the, the correct way because i'll fuck y'all up i don't want to mess up your prints or your colors just play around with it i'm just giving you the honest the honest truth but believe me when i say that it's very very easy to learn this on your own i just that's what i've been doing i watched many many videos to get it the way how i want to i just don't want your colors to be all muddy and stuff because i say do it this way and then it turned out one way nah you ain't gonna blame that, blame that on me okay so that's basically what's it right now I'm, I'm just right here trying to enhance the color of her skin because remember i mentioned earlier how i didn't like it it looked kind of red to me so i'm just here trying to look more yellow if that makes sense you'll see you'll see the difference towards the, the end of the video where i will compare the um updated print and the original side by side in the in the natural light and the print also will be available for, will be available for purchase so be on the lookout for that too y'all okay so just keep watching and wait for the final review and boom here's the comparison from the new print and from the previous one so i noticed a lot of new changes that i do like so if you pay close attention to the beam coming from her crown you see how the yellow is very bright and saturated and the other one it is not so i peeped that and i like the change that i did right there next is her skin tone you probably can't peep but i can tell that one looks more red and this one looks more yellow close to the original so i do like the change in that and also too in her t-shirt you peep how the yellow is more bright and in the previous one it doesn't stand out as much and there it is so yes i'm very happy with the results i hope you all are too in a few i am going to show how it does look in natural light the original and the new print so thank you so much for everybody who has stayed this long to watch the reveal and here we go and here are the final results you can buy both the original and the print of the original at kgreenart.com you see that look all nice and stuff like the quality of the paper is a1 it's it's beautiful it's bright it's saturated see look it's sturdy i mean it's made on the good stuff thank you so much for watching and you all have a great day